Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am here today to work on my new uh, Victorian shabby sheet style journal for Janice. Hi Janice. And so um, I've got a couple of uh, avocado dyed envelopes here from Denise at Wonderbar Crafts, and I'm going to put them together and make like a, a flip thing. I think I want this one at the top because it's got this kind of... You can't see it that much there, but anyway, it's got kind of a design on it. So I'm going to put, glue the envelope like this so that it flops down like that. And this one will be closed and be a pocket. Right? So that's the plan. So these are just, um, you know, those standard ones like I used yesterday. Six and a half by just over three and a half so but again it's just an envelope so you can use any size envelope that you want I'm just gonna cut these off I don't know why I just am it's all gonna get covered so it doesn't really matter in fact I don't even really need this flap so I'm just gonna cut this one off entirely helps if you cut it straight so I hope you guys are having a good day um, Needed to get, they've opened uh, a lot of like retail shopping and stuff here. And so I checked to see if the DMV was open and it said it was open. So my son and I went down there and guess what? There was a number on the door that you call and they said they weren't open. <laughs> so that's the DMV for you, right? Like <laughs> if you ever want to know uh, what government run things are like just go to the DMV and you'll see that that is not what we need so anyway um, yeah that was a disaster like usual every time I go there I come I come back angry <laughs> but we need to get his car registered and uh, his grandpa sold him his um, old Explorer and so but anyway that did not happen today, so I don't know when they're opening with everything else open, you would think. I mean, not everything else open, and of course there's restrictions and things like that, but um, it's not quite as strict as it was previously. So I'm going to make this a pocket this way and this a pocket this way. So, yeah. I don't know why... <laughs> why I thought that that would actually work today. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just go right along. Oh, this one actually needs to be the inside, so I need to go along this one to like right here first. And then I do need to glue this to this, so I'm just going to go along this part and this part a little bit. Be double double glue. Push out this way so that hopefully the glue doesn't end up on the inside of the envelope where you don't want it. So yeah, the sun is shining though, and the birds are singing, so that's a good thing. And like I said, we did have some of our restrictions um, loosened up a little bit, so. That's good news. We don't have as bad a cases as they once were worried about. Alright, so this is going to get glued. I don't know if you can see. I'm just gluing the other envelope if you can't. These really took the color well, the avocado dye color. And I just stuck that um, bone folder in there to make sure that it doesn't glue down to the inside because we don't want that. So now it's kind of just like a flip thing. So I thought it would be fun to put like, I'm going to have to fix this back here. This will probably get collaged a bit, so I guess I'll worry about it when I collage it. I won't entirely cover these but um, I am going to put some stuff on them. 
So this paper, this piece of paper is from After Midnight on Etsy. And it was um, her Valentine digi. And I'll try, of course, to link that below. Sometimes I forget stuff, but I've been doing pretty good remembering. So hopefully I will. And I kind of want to keep that dip in there. You could, you know, make it like that and then put like a thumb notch and stuff. But I kind of want to keep the dip just for something different. So I'm going to try to get this rose mostly. down that direction. I do want to keep some of the pink showing, so. up here. I just don't want it like to be like scream envelope when you you know see it. That's kind of what I'm trying to avoid. Those are going to be fine now. Oh my goodness. Oh. So yeah, it's always an adventure. I wish they would have had that the number that they had you call on the door on their website. That would have been helpful because I did call first just to make sure and they said the one, the number that was on the website said that they were open. So enough to drive a person mad. And this is for my buttons, Digi, but I like this uh, script here. Just one a little here. kinds of goodies. Some of them are just like roses and stuff that um, I got off of Biodiversity Heritage Library. And that's Biodiversity Heritage Library in case, because I know sometimes I don't always say it clearly. That color is not right with this pink though. So let's see if we can find a little person or something. Oh, there's that pink. That one's not bad. I have a doily too. That one's a little bit bigger. I had some smaller ones. What did I do with them? This rose came from um, Taylor Made Journals. It was, oh, I wanted to put a pocket down there. I forgot about that. I wanted to put this pocket here. I just realized I snipped that upside down. Oh, seriously. 
Well, I think we're going to like, it's not a big deal to have that there. So let's see if we've got something to cover that. Or I could turn it this way and put something along the bottom. Don't I you hate it when you do that? I didn't have my glasses on when I did that. <laughs> so uh, that explains that pretty much, right? That's what happens when I don't wear my glasses. Nope, they're all too big. Hmm. Why did I do that? Let's see, do we have... This is some avocado dyed music paper. I don't want it to look weird to just have something through the middle there. All right, well, we uh, aren't gonna do that. We'll do something else. Was goofy of me. Could do. This is my buttons, Digi. make a pocket out of that. Just like a tuck sort of thing, but I think I want it a little straighter. Oh. <laughs> Tear the top off of it. I'll put this here like this. It's gonna have to go under. Okay. I need to thicken that a little bit. glued down and then we can strengthen this for to be a pocket so that it's not um, too flimsy because that's just a piece of paper regular it's the parchment paper but it's essentially the same thickness as like uh, copy paper I want that a little bit shorter so you can see the rows Strengthen this first before we do that. And you could decorate these however you wanted. You could do coffee dyed or, um, you know, leave them plain and then collage them entirely.
I'm just kind of, you know, going squiggly because it was this edge was torn, and I don't want it totally straight. I could have torn it again, but. That's great. That's sitting on top of the glue. I did make a pocket and another tag thing I'll show you guys in just a minute. I didn't get very far yesterday. I had other stuff I had to get done. I had stuff to get done today too. Just a little, kind of like like half of that. Uh, these are Rachel at Roxy Creations doilies. Hmm. <laughs> Just gonna put a little bit this. I know, I'm covering up the envelope that's pink. <laughs> I know I make people crazy with that. Just gotta go with what you like. like that better. I don't know why. And this is um, avocado dyed graph paper from Denise as well. I won't totally cover the outside of it. So yeah, I did uh, finally figure out I called another branch of um, DMV and I guess they're planning on opening Monday next Monday so we'll see if they're actually opened of course all of these things are subject to change um, oh I think I forgot to tell you Taylor made journals I got this image it was on one of the shoes and I um, when I printed the shoe got kind of cut off on the bottom, so this rose was kind of like laying on the shoe, and I just cut it off of there, because I didn't want to, I mean, since I could get the rose, I didn't want to waste the whole image. Alright, and then I have some little things I could put in there, possibly. Um, this is from Artie Mays, and she does these really cool because they're like side by side, you know, when it prints, it's like opened, and then I just folded it to make a journaling card. Um, you could also make like a little booklet, like cover the inside with maybe some of the like manila paper and make a booklet, but you can also just fold it and, you know, have a journaling card, so this one might be kind of big, but this one will work. Okay, so that'll go in there, and then we need like a tag or something, and I have one ripped out, what did I do with it? 
my goodness me. I get all this stuff together and then I can't find it. Okay, it's right here. So um, it's book page and I just ripped it so that it'll fit down in that pocket. So we'll go ahead and decorate that. And this will close like so. I kind of feel scattered now. I don't know why. I think this will be the back, maybe. Let's see. I love this pink paper. It's very pretty. And that's from After Midnight. A bit too small now. <laughs> so Janice, everybody keeps telling me how romantic it is that your husband's having a journal made for you. <laughs> I think it's so sweet. It's awesome. Some of the younger men need lessons from the older men <laughs> how to be romantic. A lot of them think it's just silliness or whatever, but it's really nice. And 55 years is an amazing accomplishment. I mean, that's just awesome. my old love notes digi and it has this uh, pink lace so I thought this would be a good lace to use. And Artie Mays also has kind of a lacy one in her not so shabby chic that I'll be using. Trying to decide if I want this for the whole. I think I'm gonna kind of go like this.
go there and then I gotta figure out what I want. I kinda wanna use one of the um one of Lorna's pretty ladies here. Or the little girl's cute. She's very pretty. I'll go with the lady. And then something on the bottom. My buttons digi. I'm sure you can tell. probably use a bigger lady than that one. Oops, I glued the wrong one first. Like it got rusty or something. I don't know. It's just cool looking. Let's see if I can find a bigger image. She's really big. Can't put her on the front or something. more of the buttons. Oh, not really. I think I like that one better. So I'm going to see if I have like a rose I can put. pretty ladies here. Taylor made journals. I love those, but I don't love the way they 
like chop them off. <laughs> I know that's just the way that scrap is, that um, Victorian scrap, but it's crazy looking to me. That's not really going to help. Well, let's get her glued down and then I'll figure something out. Lop of glue somewhere. Oh, I know a doily would be good. Well. <laughs> Uh, this is two or one. Sometimes they get sneaky like that. Yeah, this one's been coffee dyed, but I'm just going to kind of get the edges a little bit. They're always interesting to glue down. And I'll stitch around this as well. And I'm going to just snip off whatever's hanging over. I mean, I like it hanging upward, but it won't go um, in the pocket very well with that hanging over. No significance, <laughs> just just a date. All right, so I will um, stitch around that and add. Uh, I probably won't add lace because it has to be able to go down into this pocket. How long have we been going? I feel like I'm taking. I am taking forever. Thirty-four minutes. So I'm probably not going to finish this, but I will show it to you guys. Okay, so the back of this one's going to get glued down to uh, the book or, you know, journal page, whatever. So um, we just need to decorate this side and then do this side. And what I was thinking for inside of here would be fun is some, uh, like, journaling pages. So I was going to use some avocado dyed paper. I might only need one, so I'm going to start with one and see how it goes. 
because we don't need, you know, 20 sheets or something. I don't want it quite as long because I'm going to put a little tab on it so you can pull it in and out of there easily. So I think I'm going to go to like there. And these pieces I'll use for collaging or whatever. This avocado dyed paper I think is from Eva. I don't know, I have um, both in the same folder, so, but I'm pretty sure this, this set was from Eva. Thank you to Denise and Eva both. Beautiful, beautiful papers. And Juanita, because Juanita actually bought the last set of avocado dye from Denise for me, so thank you. So kind. Oh, that's all right. I just will. from Artie Mays. I think that's plenty just to go in that little envelope. Um, and these are in Artie Mays' Shabby Chic. And I'll have all the papers I'm using listed in my description box. side too because you might see it at the edge. And I'm going to put a little glue just to hold it extra but I'm also going to staple it with my tiny attacher. I'm not going to leave a ton of this hanging up at the top. Of course we're stapling because um, that middle piece of paper isn't stuck to anything so hopefully it will fit in here nope we're gonna take more off of them should have tested first I know but now it's nice and straight. <laughs> can just slide in there, hopefully. So you don't want it too thick, or I don't think it'll fit very well into the envelope, but even with a little tab, it closes fine. So we need to decorate this, but it needs to be this direction, or it'll be upside down when you open it. So let's use... This 
little fountain is from um, After Midnight. I kind of like the, the ledger. I don't think it would feel really fit. I think it's the envelope part of the inside that I like to cover. I just don't like that, the way it crisscrosses. <laughs> eh, silliness. It's from my 1891. This is the script right here, I think. So I had these um, from Artie Mays, and they're all side by side like that when you print them. And so I decided to just fold them this way, and then you could write on the back of that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stick that in that little bottom pocket down there. And let's see. I'm not liking that right now, so it's more doily. Want the most doily possible. Oh, yeah, that works good. Right out there. I do not love the glue shininess. Okay, now I'm going to cut that off if I can find my. something else. This is out of Artie Mays's Shabby Chic kit as well. I don't want to staple it. <laughs> got my tiny attacher stuck to my book. <laughs> Put it away. Uh, ding a ling. Ding a ling. Yeah, I like that. That page is 
gross with all the ink. I'm going to leave that little bit of doily. I don't mind that hanging off, but I don't want these all hanging off. If I can cut straight. And maybe a rose or a flower of some kind anyway. crocus <laughs> Yes, I like that. I think that's fun. Now I just need to do the front. And I want to use, I think this lady. It's a good size for the front. So now I just need whatever goes behind her. Could use a little bit of that or... Avocado dyed guest check that has been used for something else. Ah, these are hard to tear. They don't like tearing. It needs a different color. Hmm. Have that too. That would be better. a little bit of blue in that feather right there. I just feel like it needs a little blue. So I'm going to go with a piece of this. not going to even see that now that I've torn it all out of the nut. Nothing at all. 
Turn this this way with the rose at the top. This over here, because you're still gonna see that with the that blue. Yeah, like that. I'm just gonna do a kind of a jagged tear on this. I to do her for a while this time. Oops. That was uh, way off. And here I am covering up all the pink again. Well, you know. They're a great base, these pink envelopes. But I do tend to cover them. Not, unten not intentionally, but that's just how it turns out. stitch around this one since it's envelopes. Come up here a little more so we can see more of the blue. They're so pretty, Lorna. I just really like them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and I know I have like a rose that has a little more red in it somewhere. Like that. all kinds of flowers but I'm gonna actually put it right there just a little bit of this doily left
Okay, so that is that. Flips open, this paper pulls out, this uh, tag pulls out, and I will stitch around it. And then there's, you know, the little tuck pocket here with a couple of goodies from um, Artie Mays in those. So at least I didn't totally cover up everything envelope wise. <laughs> it's hard for me to do. Love to collage, so. All right, and then the other thing that I made that I was going to show you yesterday, get this out of the way, is I made this pocket and I stitched uh, that little lace flower on there and added a postage stamp. And this is from Allie, the Cockney Crafter Cycle Biscuits, it says on there. And then this is one of Artie Mays's um, tags that were side by side on the piece of paper when it printed and I just folded them in half and I don't know if that's how she intends them to be or whatever but they are right next to each other so it works out really well. There's just a little like quote there and I stitched up the side there and then you can write on the inside. So I thought that was pretty and that'll go in that pocket and then our I didn't do a whole lot more to this I did add um, some buttons and then this little piece of um, embroidery scrapbook paper there and so everything else is the same I think so yeah some little goodies getting started so I hope you guys all have an awesome day oh color challenge for Monday we're gonna do pink so get your pink stuff together and we'll do pink so yeah all right I will chat at you guys again soon thank you so much for all your support bye bye now